Yo, what's up? It's your boy Dragon back here on a YouTube video, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a hitter, and it's gonna be well, one of my subscribers that make it basically. But yeah, if I don't sound too energized in the video, cause I just woke up, and yeah, but um, these settings right here on my clipboard just follow them 1500 by 500, and now you wanna duplicate this right here. By right clicking on the UK layer and you want to make the one under it not visible and now you want to go to over to your left toolbar and get your magic one two or you can't hit W key on your keyboard and after you do that you want to click on the white box and hit control X now you hit control X the pack I'm gonna be using is gonna be called the amplify pack and I'm gonna put that in the description or either in the comment section and this is what I'm gonna be using for it Alright, now that we pull this over, we gonna get this um in a good spot. It's probably like right here. Now we got that. We're gonna go over to my pack and we're gonna get the first two color corrections and bring them on Twitter. Alright, and if you don't know how to get the color corrections, I just um hold control on both of them at the same time. Like hold control and click on both of them and then just drag them over. Alright, now we had a color correction, make it big enough so all of it is inside. Alright, now we have that. I'm gonna go back to my pack and actually use one of my 3D renders since I'm just doing it for practice. And I don't have to actually render the text, but for the sake of the video, I'm gonna show you guys how to render text real quick. So what you do is, you just go to new. I go to 128720 so I can get the most space. Duplicate the layer, obviously. Um, then I go to my major one tool, left toolbar, and do that. Now I go to my horizontal text tool right here, and you can just hit T to go to that, but make this smaller. And I don't know if a lot of people have this issue, but go to the horizontal text tool and drag it across of it. And I'm just gonna put dragon. Now I put drag, you want to drag across up again and go to where you see me clicking on down here. It should be the bottom thing and get a gray color. If you can pick the color that I got by typing and stuff, you can also do that. But make sure you have a gray color. Okay, now that you have a gray color, you want to enlarge this with your move tool and just make it um, very big, as big as you can. But make sure it's not wide enough so when it renders, you can see everything. Just make sure. Now you want to go up to the top and hit 3D. It will be in the middle of view and filter. Okay, now that you hit that, you want to go to new 3D Ascarsion for select the layer. And if you do that, well, why you see it's loading up on my screen right now. Um, yeah. It might take a while to load up, but okay, load it up. Now, when you open this, make sure you right click on your um, text over here. You see me right clicking on and hit render 3D layer. I'm gonna let this render since I'm making it for my, um, not for myself, but when you see it render, this is normal. There's nothing wrong with it, just let it render out. It'll tell you the time down here. And yeah, this is normal. And if you don't like using Cinema 4D, I don't like using it either, but I can just use this, which is pretty simple. So I'm gonna speed pad this right here. And yeah, I'm gonna just let this go by. I right, you see mine about to get done rendering. And boom, now that this is done, you might see little space and stuff like oh man it's still bad well no it's not don't do nothing yet and just listen to what i say okay so now what you want to don't even move it because that will literally mess up everything do not move that i repeat do not move that so now you want to rasterize this 3d rasterize it and boom you got your clean smooth good looking delicious beautiful 3d text and i ain't gonna lie mine probably look better than yours because you know i'm a genius but you got your 3D text and obviously you just bring it over. Now mine is in a very good spot, so but just make you get, make sure you get in a, a good spot. Mine is in a good spot, yeah. Alright. So basically ready to start. Um first thing I do what I'm gonna do is put this under that obviously. And I'm probably gonna bring this up some more because I feel like the shadow is too close. So yeah. Bring this up some now what you want to do is go to dragon now this is something that i know a lot of my subscribers don't know you want to create a layer with um the create layer thing down here right beside the delete layer thing to the left of it actually and you want to create a clipping mask 
now this clipping mask you want to go ahead and create that and you want to go to your gradient tool now this is going to be something cool so you want to go to this and just try to create a good gradient but do it like how i'm doing it so basically i'm gonna probably get a um i want to really my main color is red but i'm probably gonna switch it up to like green because i want to try to go with a more of a beach vibe but get a cool little gradient and just make the color fade to a darker color when you do it and basically when you have this you just want to bring it across now you might say oh now it's messed up but no go to blending options and go to blend mode and put it on overlay all right so now you have it on overlay you see i kind of messed up on that but we fixed that easily okay so now that we have this um you can actually go to fill and you can mess with that a little bit so if you don't want to be too green you can just mess with your fill i'm probably leaving on 86. all right so now that we have this i want to go to blend the options for my text and bevel and inbox and basically with this right here my depth your depth should be on 100 technique should be smooth inner bevel should be on that but you really can test this stuff out like change it up a little bit because i mean when you practice with it it just you figure out more stuff but i'm gonna go with um uh, inner and i'm gonna let me see just so hard it looks like yeah so it look like you got more of like something coming up from the top but you want to keep your dub like just mess with it that's all i can tell you until you feel comfortable all right now we have that um i'm going back to the amplify pack because we're basically ready to get started on most of the important stuff now i don't want to completely jack the person that i made this for like because i don't want you guys to be don't i really don't want you guys to just um just like take this and make it like yours I, I just want this to be like a learning experience instead of you guys just you know yeah but we have um these flowers right here and yeah you can see this looks cool so we probably want to get this coming out from like the side and uh, we're going to probably put this above the ticks and basically you just want like something like that so yeah i'm not even going to make this as my twitter header because this is just for a video and like i said i don't want to jack the person i made out of it just because it looks good because that's not a good thing to do and i just want this to be a learning experience for you guys so we have this at the edge um, i'm not gonna go to the detail for this video but basically what i'm gonna do is something else that you guys probably do not know so first of all you just want to make this group um if you don't know how to do that i just held control and click both of these at the same time and now i want to go down to the left of the create a layer thing and you see it says create a new group look like a folder now you want to do that you want to go to the top um in between image and type and you will see layer and go down to you see rename group rename this group to your 3d text because you really want to just um keep you're gonna have to be like doing this stuff you can't keep up with what you're doing so now that we're inside the 3d text you want to create a new layer by clicking to the right of creating a group which is create a new layer so now that we have that you obviously well not even obviously you want to create a clipping mask and she do this because I, like i said you guys probably don't know this after you do that, you want to go to your burst tool, and you can hit B on your keyboard to do that if you want to. Um, but yeah, make sure you get to the size to 432. That's the one I use, and make sure your opacity is 91. The flow 100, smooth than 10%. After you do that, you want to go to your color picker thing and make sure it's on. Um, make sure it's black, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna act like that right there is dropping onto our um text and making it like go dark right there because you want to just make a good drop shadow so now that you do that you see how that's filling in and making it look like the the thing it has the drop shadow you can go to feel because you don't want to do it too much but you still want to do a good amount so now that you have that um basically we can add a little bit more because we can still lower without feel but um that'll probably be good so now that we have that you see with the beach vibe is really coming along we like it's really looking realistic especially with the 3d text and how it's standing on the ground with the drop shadow and that's what i love about the 3d text so now that we have this right here the next thing i'm going to do is go to my effects from my gfx pack go to lightning and go to lightning one 
Now this can be used in a lot of different occasions, but for this right here, you're not gonna really expect what I'm about to do. But you just gotta always be on the lookout to find new things and just be creative. So you wanna create a clipping mask for this um, right here and you wanna just give it a glow. But don't obviously do not put it on there because I don't like putting my lightning on stuff. I always like using it for a glow. You can use it for something else, but this would not be right pack if you wanna use it for that. Okay, so see we have our glow on this. And another thing, now that we have our glow, um, I actually gonna make something for this, make group for that too, and I'm gonna name this my um just gonna name it plant because yeah, I'm this all I'm gonna name it. Just make sure you name it something you can remember though. So now that we have that, you wanna go back to this, but you don't have to worry about making a new layer, you can just use the same one. Now we're gonna go back to the brush tool and you can obviously hit the B button to go to it if you want to. And what we're gonna do is go to the top of it and we're gonna add some light to the text, like the sun is just shining off of it. And then to the bottom, we're gonna try to add some also and give it like a little more of a beach vibe. So you can really see the shadow just shining off and make it look more realistic. So now that we have that right there, you won't be using too much stuff in my pack. This is more of a like do it yourself type of thing, have all your ideas. So basically, now that we have this, we want to go back to the Amplify pack, and we're gonna get another lead. Now for this right here, we're actually gonna flip this, and to do that, you want to go up to the top where you, to, until you see Edit. It's at the very top, in between File and Image. You want to go to Edit, Transform, and Flip Horizontally. Now that you flip this horizontally, you can actually bring it over to this, and yeah, now that you brought it over, you want to actually. Lower this right here. Um, and if you don't like it, you don't have to do it. But I'm just giving you guys some ideas. I mean, my opinion doesn't look that good, but I know some of you guys might think different because you can, you, I know my subscribers can make some things work. Like, Y'all look good at designing. So, we just gonna, not, but I'm not gonna put that on there personally. Now, one cool thing I did do was add a, a parrot on my text, and it's not a hard thing to do, because I'm just going to do that because I think it looks cool. And, yeah, you want to bring this parrot over, and it's not hard. You just put it behind 3D text and lower the size on it some, and just make sure you put it, make it to where it's on top of the text. Now, you see the parrot goes really good with the green and all that and obviously you can change the hue and stuff on there so for the pair i'm gonna add some bevel and emboss and you can just um turn up the depth on this and for the pair i'm gonna put it to smooth and the inner bevel size five and copy that my screen i'm gonna keep that on the same thing and add that all right do not add a scroll i repeat do not add a scroll add inner glow copy these settings right here because that is very good um outer glow if you want to have outer glow, I say there's nothing wrong with that right there, but I mean like the color dodge is gonna make it blend in with the background no matter what color it is, I think. So you just wanna put that to overlay really. Now you see it still looks good, but I'm gonna lower the opacity just a little bit. And for the drop shadow, we just have that. Cause you really just um if you want to, you can make the parrot drop shadow like over here on the text like left of it. So but it's up to you. So we basically have everything for the parrot, and you just wanted to don't have all these effects then now, and you go to FX and basically you just close that up because we don't need all that. So make sure you say your work. By this time, you should have already saved it more than three times, but I haven't been doing it. I'm just naming Dragon Header since this is a tutorial. Uh, let me do Dragon Header too. Like I said, I'm not gonna be using this. I might give out a PSD or do a giveaway for it or something, but. You have the parrot, and I would say I can just end this video right now because, I, in my opinion, it's really all you need. Pretty simple, pretty cool. But I'm gonna try to find something else to put on there because there's still way more potential for this. So I'm gonna try to find uh, another freaking like plan or something to put on there because, like, I don't know. What's that? Okay, I'm gonna try to use this. Uh, you go to edit transform flip horizontally I'm gonna bring this over cuz I don't know if it still look like oh no 
we're gonna put this in the plant thing and by the looks of it already it's looking pretty nice so i'm gonna put this at the bottom curve a little bit um like this maybe even put it at the top i don't know depends um i'll add one like that and then we could duplicate it and then put one like this right here but make it smaller obviously okay all right now you don't want to do this too much because i mean like with the drop shed you have going on, on the left side you still have to add some with the plants like if you do it like this so make sure you, that you just um try to do it good and don't overdo it but i feel like if i add this i like the vibe that it gives when you do add the plant over the text so i might keep it might not but i'm not this type of person though like i feel like it's kind of messy but it is a new thing to do okay so now we have that you want to save it and obviously you got to add a drop shadow you really don't because it's already getting kind of darker right there like because all around the text is just just like you know it looks pretty good but i'm gonna go back to it and try to add a dry shadow go to my brush you can hit b on your thing do it if you want but yeah okay yeah the dry shadow does look pretty good so i'm gonna keep that um save it and basically we just we're almost done i mean there's nothing hard to do if you really want to um do it like how i did the last one add a shark in the background up. It's trying to close out everything. I had sharp in the background, and basically how I did that, um, I looked up. When I look up, I looked up. Free, I think shark tip, shark pen, PNG, and in my opinion, this is like where you really get creative with it, cause it's not too much, but it's still like creative. And think about it, it just looked cool in the background. Like it looks like it belongs there. If you get it to the right spot, it just look like it came with the image. And when it's something look like it came with the image, that means that you're doing a good job. Because you can't, couldn't really tell when you put it in the water. But, um, yeah. It's probably looking pretty good in my opinion. Yeah, you have some in glow there right there. And all this stuff. It will look, it will fit in even better. And you can copy these settings I got on my screen if you do want to add that. But you remember the color dodge is going to blend it in a little bit with the background. So even when I had that on, it just makes it look like it belongs there. Alright. Almost done with this. Let's see what time I'm at. 22 minutes and it does not even feel like it. Well, uh, um. I mean, 3D text. Got the parrot and this right here. Really not too much you can do. If you do want to add your socials, I would just say that do it on your own. Because it's not really more like a socials. You need to add your socials type of thing. It's more like a cool type of hair. But, I mean, that's pretty much it for it. Not really too much more you can add to it. You just got a, a beach vibe here. I mean, you got like a surfboard or something. You can probably look that up and put it around there. But you guys know what to do with the drop shadow. I'm going to just leave you guys on your own after this part right here. But, I mean, I can see some of my subscribers putting their name up in there. And just doing a good job with it. Hope you guys enjoyed the quick tutorial. And peace out.